With PageSpeed being a ranking factor and Google page experience updates, having a high performing website is a much needed thing these days. In this video, you're gonna discover how you can easily optimize your Elementor site and improve its speed by using our plugin, WP Rocket. WP Rocket is a caching plugin that automatically applies 80% of the best web performance practices upon activation. In other words, as soon as you activate WP Rocket, you'll see an improvement in your site speed and your PageSpeed Insights score. Now, if you're unaware of what a caching plugin is a caching plugin takes what we would call a snapshot of the dynamic content that WordPress serves and converts it into static content. This way, all the HTML, images, CSS, and JS files on your site will be cached. So that way, when a visitor wants to see that cached content, your WordPress site won't need to contact the web server to show the page. Instead, it will simply send that snapshot to the visitor's browser in the form of an HTML file. This makes the process of your website loading a lot faster. Now, if you want a complete detailed breakdown of WordPress caching, we will go ahead and leave an article linked in the description below for you to read more about. Now, the first question you may have is what are the best WP Rocket settings for an Elementor site? And the answer here is that there is no fixed set of options that should be activated on every single website. Every site is different, and even if they might have Elementor in common, several factors can influence the choice of the best WP Rocket settings. Now, I also want to mention this video corresponds with a previous blog post where we created a site with Elementor. And if you want to see that blog post, I'll leave that link in the description as well. Now, of course, don't just copy our optimization. As you remember, it's different for every site. Now, we built this demo site using some of Elementor's pre-built pages and some blocks, and we even add some customization, such as widgets, images, and videos. Now, before activating WP Rocket on the site, let's go ahead and show you the test for the initial speed of one of the site's heavier pages. This page contains more images, videos than any other, and it even includes a slider and even one of our own YouTube videos embedded. Now, for this test, we used web page test and set up the following environment. We're choosing LTE mobile to get a glimpse of the performance from a slower network instead of an unthrottled connection. Remember, not all visitors will access your site from the fastest connections out there. And that is why it's so important to monitor the speed of your site from different scenarios. Now, we will also test the page with Google PageSpeed Insights to measure the Lighthouse performance score. So with testing our page before any optimization, we can see that it needs some love as it's loading in 6.2 seconds. Now, with our PageSpeed Insights score and the Lighthouse metrics, we can also see a big room for improvement here as well. All of these red flags are caused by many performance issues that PageSpeed Insights lists in the opportunities and diagnostic section. For instance, you can see that eliminating render blocking resources and reducing unused JavaScript are the main recommendations, alongside serving images in next-gen formats, reducing initial server response time, and well, many more. Now, as you saw, we had a pretty long list of things to fix. So let's see how WP Rocket can help. Now, as we explained before, after activating WP Rocket, you'll automatically enable 80% of the performance best practices. These include page and browser caching, gzip compression, a combination of inline and third-party scripts, WooCommerce refresh cart fragments cache, and more. In addition, we will also enable the following choices one by one. Now, specific note here. Every time you enable an option in WP Rocket and you save your changes, go ahead and check the website from an incognito window of the browser just to make sure everything is fine. Now, this is particularly important for advanced options like those included in the File Optimization tab, since they can sometimes conflict with other plugin or theme options. So if some options conflict with your site, leave it disabled and clear the cache to override its effect. Now, here's the options we enabled in WP Rocket starting from the File Optimization tab. Minify CSS files, optimize CSS delivery, where remove unused CSS options to be your first choice, minify JavaScript files, load JavaScript deferred, and delay JavaScript execution. Now we did the following in the media tab. Lazy load for images, lazy load for iframes and videos, replace YouTube iframe with a preview image, and add missing image dimensions. Now, thanks to those powerful features that tackle JavaScript and CCS optimization, the fully loaded time is now just only two seconds. And with our PageSpeed Insights, almost all of those red flags have turned into green. The only two 
opportunities that stayed orange are related to image optimization. So to fine tune our optimization process and get a 90 plus page speed insight score, we should reduce images sizes and then convert them to the WebP format, which is one of the next gen formats that page speed insights recommends. Now as a cache plugin, WP Rocket cannot reduce image size on its own, but it counts on a smart helper with the image optimization plugin Imagify. With Imagify, we can easily run the bulk optimization to reduce the page images size. Then we'll convert the images to the WebP format as well. Just these simple actions significantly impacted the page's performance and addressed the orange PSI recommendations. Now, the page speed insight score is green as well as almost all the lighthouse metrics. Now, there's only just one thing left. As you can see, the largest Contentful Paint hasn't gotten a green score yet. What you should remember is in the page that we tested, we actually had a slider on it. Now we should mention the LCP score did go from 10.5 seconds to 3.7 seconds after WP Rocket, but sliders are bad for performance. And even with a powerful caching plugin like ours, we can't eliminate all of the issues. And this is why you should always avoid sliders, animations, and preloaders if you want to boost your site speed at its best. Now going back to the PageSpeed Insights audit, we can see that the orange flags are now passed in the audits section. Now, if we go ahead and check the speed from an even faster internet connection, remember, our first test we were actually simulating LTE mobile speed, you will see that we got even better results now. What you see is a loading time is just 1.3 seconds. Remember, before it was 6.2 seconds. So to wrap this all up, optimizing your site speed and improving its performance doesn't have to give you headaches. With the right tools, it can become a pretty straightforward process. And you can see with just a few clicks in the file optimization and in the media tab, we were able to generate a real performance increase with our plugin. Furthermore, by using our sibling plugin Imagify, you can optimize images, reduce their size, and give an extra boost to the speed of your site. Now, to try WRocket today, all you have to do is click the first link in the description. Goodbye, and have a good day.